I'm just gonna go ahead and use the inverse teleporter. I mean, like, what is the worst that could happen? It's just an inverse teleporter, right? Lift glass, wait for the ship to actually land, beam up. Let's go in here. Like, everybody's saying, oh, it's so scary. There's gonna be nothing. See? Nothing bad at all. Like, what is the worst that could happen, dude? Like, oh no, something's gonna appear. Look at this. Fire exit right here. Fastest escape ever. Boom. We left right away. I do not know what the big deal about this is. And there was items in there too. We can even go back and I will wait for the cooldown to end and I'll go in again. That is a long cooldown though. Okay, three seconds. We're gonna beam up again. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of this teleporter, dude. Inverse teleporter. Timber be timbers. While we're back in, let me guess it's gonna be in the exact same spot. Pretty much. Yep, look, fire exit. We were just on the other side. You guys are saying this is a challenge, this is a problem. It's so easy, guys. This game is no more of a challenge with the inverse teleporter. It's kind of fun because it can teleport you to some helpful places. But honestly, it just does more help than harm.